Hello, I'm Michael Richard. I was born in England, and I grew up there, and I lived there until I was 20 when I started traveling the world. I joined the army, and I spent four years in Germany, a year in the Middle East, then left the army, became a croupier, started traveling, continued to travel, came to the United States, settled here, moved to Costa Rica and spent some time there, south of France, spent some more time there, back to the United States, and I've been in the States for more than 30 years. As a very young child, it was obvious to everyone around that I had ability to think outside the box, way outside the box, and to be very good at problem solving, which is a skill that's always been very useful to me in my life. But it was one that drove my mother to distraction because she would regale me of something that had happened to her and had gone wrong, and I would simply tell her what she should have done. Problem solved. However, that wasn't what she was looking for. And I didn't realize this until one day when she says to me, listen, Buster, if I wanted a solution, I'd ask you for a solution. I just want some sympathy. And I can guarantee you there was at least one four letter word in that sentence. Anyway, this problem solving ability has always stood me in good stead, as I said, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it or how I was going to best utilize it until 1987, when a friend of mine introduced me to a database program called FileMaker, which even then was three or four years old. Now, FileMaker wasn't incredibly powerful at that time. It is now, 33 years later. But it immediately resonated with me. I fell in love with it. It was in tune with the way I thought and worked. And it allowed me to build business solutions very easily with tremendous results. And I've been doing that now for 33 years. It's a long time. My first professional job with FileMaker was almost my last. I took on a project for a very large company that really, quite honestly, was way too advanced for me to accept. I took it on with a completely unrealistic deadline. They gave me three weeks to do a project that I would now, today, say it'll take three months as a minimum and most likely six. Anyway, with the overconfidence of youth and the conviction that I could do anything, I took it on and I said, yeah, I can do this in three weeks. Anyway, the first week went by and I didn't touch the keyboard or the computer once. I simply stared at the screen, trying to figure out a way to solve this particular problem. And by the end of that first week, I was getting nervous and thinking that I didn't know how I was going to do this. And any credibility or any possibility of making a career doing what I love to do was going out the window. Anyway, over that weekend, my subconscious was hard at work and I woke up on Monday morning knowing exactly how I was going to do it. And I went in and I was able to complete this three week project, which I wasted a week or lost a week in 11 days. So it came in three days ahead of schedule. And the end result was that we were able to do or replace a job that had taken nine people six weeks to do previously with spreadsheets in two days. Now that project was enormously successful. People at Claris were staggered by it because they didn't realize that what I had done could be done with FileMaker at that time, and my career has been FileMaker ever since. Now, what I love most about working with FileMaker is I get to help businesses like yours. I get to be influential in transforming that business into a money-making machine. And that all starts with making a business more efficient. Because if you make a business more efficient, it must become more profitable. It cannot be otherwise. It's a law of nature. Now, how do you get to a point of knowing what you need to do, what changes you need to make, what steps you need to take in order to propel your business into the stratosphere? And that starts with an assessment, which can be a complicated process, and it involves talking about your business, what you're doing, what the problems you have, what technology to use, whether those are the right technologies, and a lot of other different factors. And as part of that process, you have to realize or you have to come to terms with what your pain points are. Now, the pain points are very simple to identify. You just ask yourself the question, what drives me the most nuts? Now, what drives you the most nuts is not the same for everybody else. Everybody will have different pain points with different degrees of pain. But the one thing is that when you do 
solve or eliminate a pain point, it moves that person, that company, towards a state of greater efficiency and productivity, which, as I said, will increase the bottom line. An assessment is essential to start the ball rolling. You have to come to an understanding of where you are and where you need to go. And that can sometimes take a considerable amount of time. But what I can do is spend 15 minutes on the phone with you talking about your business, highlighting and finding out where your pain points are and what you need to do. Now, there's no charge for that consultation, there's no obligation, but at the end of it, you will not only understand what steps you perhaps should be taking, but you'll be in a position to take those steps. When you transform a business, you make the lives of that business and the people who work in it better because you're making them more productive. You're getting them to do things that they like doing and are good at, as opposed to just pushing paper or doing administrative functions which just don't achieve anything other than irritate everybody. I'm Michael Richard. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to give me a call. I'd love to chat to you and see if I can help your business. Thank you. Bye-bye.